Now, uh, the UN's Rights Commission has called for a full inquiry into possible war crimes in Ethiopia after reports emerged of a massacre of civilians in the Tigray region. Eyewitnesses blamed Tigrayan forces loyal to the northern region's TPLF party, but they've denied this. They accuse the government soldiers of killing civilians in air raids. The UN also warned of a growing refugee crisis, saying 4,000 civilians had fled over the Sudanese border in a single day. The Ethiopian government has issued arrest warrants for senior officials in Tigray. Our correspondent Kalkidan Yebeltal gave me this update from Addis Ababa. We came to know about this, uh, these killings from a report by the rights group Amnesty International. Uh, it calls what happened in the northern state of Tigray in a place called Maikandra uh, a massacre. Uh, it says that scores and possibly hundreds uh, were killed. Uh, Amnesty International is saying that they have confirmed those people that are killed uh, were not fighters, they were civilians. Uh, and uh, it seems that a number of them were killed there. Uh, uh, we wouldn't uh, independently uh, confirm or verify uh, what's behind there. And, but what, what, what they're saying, what the Amnesty people are saying is uh, some of the eyewitnesses that they talked to accused that the Grand People's Liberation Front, the TPLF that's engaged in fighting with the federal government, government. Uh, the TPLF, uh, when uh, these allegations uh, began circulating, uh, uh, rejected this accusation. They said they, they denied it. Uh, and now we hear that the UN is calling for investigation. Uh, but we are understanding that this is just one of the many uh, the many atrocities that we're hearing uh, since the conflict began in Ethiopia's northernmost state. Kalkidan Yebeltal there from the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa.